Greetings Octopathians, welcome back to Octopath Traveler, and I last episode ended off with me getting Ophelia into the party, but before I can leave Flames Grace, I have to go help her get Aelfric's Lanthorn from the Cave of Origin. Again. Oh, and off camera, I went ahead and suited up Ophelia with some new armor. I practically gave her the same setup I have on Cyrus minus the wind attire, since that's exclusive to him. So, off we go! Cave of Origin! Time to teach you a lesson. Oh, an ice lizard, I'm so scared. I'll do my best. My turn now. Bom, bom, bom. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Thus, we are skate bonking machines. <laughs> Snow marmots. Now. No marmots! Die! I'll do my best. <clears throat> so too do our mages run around in the wilds, cracking their staves over the heads of snow hares. Surely we are the brave adventurers. I'll do my best. Well, but it's still no uh, black mage stabbing. Whoa! Calm down, there, Ophelia. Two level ups. Did I miss something over here? Nope. Heading around. Eh. Flame, protect us. Flame, protect us. Not necessary there. Not necessary, sister. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Thus ends your lesson. I swear we are bonking, head bonking machines. Oh, what? Nothing? All right. I probably. Yep. There is no choice. There is no choice but to bonk them! I've only ever played one other JRPG where skip bonking with the staff was actually an option, and that was the Bravely Games. Which, uh, for those of you who didn't know, the Bravely team actually had a hand in, the, in the, this game's development. Which is why there's some similarities. This is. What? Where did Cyrus go? Uh, this looks the same. So if the guard there tells you to, I was getting to say, if the guard's about to tell there to go away, then this is the same cutscene. Uh, treasure, herb of clarity. Sister Ophelia, I'm certain you know this well, but I feel compelled to speak. This is a place of true danger. Please be prepared for entering. Not to worry! She has the strongest black mage of Atlas Dam with her. Oh, I can't scrutinize them. Hold on. Repeated strikes, summonable nine times. Come with me, sir! Speed run this cave! Healing grape. I've done my research. Well, hello, feral wolf. Um. My bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Wow. 
Not bad. That's Embarrassing. Possible. Level four. Ophelia is... Well, I know once you get to about level 10, the XP requirement goes way up. But I think that was to prevent you from overleveling in the prologue area. Snowbat! Quickly! At the same time, strike its wings! I was going for the wing, but I bonked on the head. That works too. Man, no chance. Curious Bloom. Getting a lot of stuff for Alfin. Shadow Soul Stone. Yeah, I need to keep those Soul Stones because they're going to be probably useful. Another Snowbat. You cannot defeat me, Snowbat. You will lose. Bonk. Bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. You should have studied harder. Da 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 Silver hairpiece. That should be for her. Uh, raises defense by one, max SP by ten, lowers elemental attack by eight points, elemental defense by three points. Yeah, for the small gains you get, you have to sacrifice too much. So that one's um, smells like money. Someone needs to call the church about the snowbat infestation. Well then. Yeah. I mean, your sacred flame and lanthorn are in here. Someone needs to contact them about it and deal with this problem. I'm sure there's a holy exterminator. Oh, so if I want to skip cutscenes, you hold B. Okay. Quickly! Obtain treasure! Refreshing jam. Those are actually rare, I think. There's the traveling merchant. What do you hail adventure? Damn it! <laughs> oh, ooh! That's a dark wisp. Um. My turn now. Yeah, holy light. Oh, light. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with wisps. Elementals are never good to mess around with. I know, I'm stick bonking an elemental. You don't have to tell me. Ow. Alright. You're in an ice cave, so fireball. Wonderful. Not bad. A passing. Now, before I was rudely interrupted, if you need anything, say the word. Nope. I'm good. No, wait. Actually, stop. Sell. Silver hairpiece. 150. Is this the same cutscene? Because if it is, I'm skipping it. Yep. You're the same cutscene. There's the Guardian of the First Flame. My turn now. Da, 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 da. We got I got two party members this time, Mr. Guardian. You were a joke before, but you're even more gonna be more of a joke now.
Get my boost points up here. I might not even need the Night Argon to help me. Max Firestorm! Max of Holy Light! Hmm, he's got a little bit more HP to him. The trial begins. Prove your strength to the Guardian. Dark Wisps. Okay. So they're not going to do any good against elemental attacks, probably. Uh, bonk! Okay, stick bonk works. I'm probably going to get pounded on here in a moment. Three more turns. And I guess until I lose. Let's break their shields. Sweep attack! Massive damage! Uh oh, I could be in trouble. Firestorm! Raging Inferno! Oh, the Guardian's on red. Okay. Sacred Flame gains in strength. Okay, I need to do something. Max power! Attack! Break! Alright. Cut him off. The three fireball! You should have studied harder. Excellent! Inspiriting plum basket. Da, 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 da. Is this the one where she gets the lanthorn? This is. Yep, second cutscene. Skip. Join my party, please. So many cutscenes! Thank you. Alright, Ophelia is now in my party. Does she have enough job points for a skill? Yes, she does. Okay. Sheltering Veil. Oh, but when does that deal light damage to all enemies? Heal more. Restore a large amount of HP to all. Revive. Uh. She is my resident healer. So. Heal more, please. Thank you. At 100 job points, she, I'll get her the uh, luminescence. And side quests are open. So, I need to rest at the end because I got the hell beat out of me by the Guardian. Oh, I just seen that. It added our levels together and multiplied them by two to get the rate. Okay. Yeah. I probably should show that, actually. I just skipped over it. Yeah, 42. So, add Cyrus and Ophelia. So, okay, so that's how it's going to work. So it adds up all your party members' levels and multiplies it by two, and that gives you the, the rate to stay at the end. All right. People love Flames Grace. What are your troubles? For I shall listen. Tavern. Oh. Any juicy information keeper? What can I do you for? Change your party equipment. Hear a t Restore reputation trap. Hear a tail. What's this? You've already completed this. Hmm. Maybe that comes in handy later. What about you? Mm. Diligent student. It's no good. I simply cannot see the way of it. That's it. It's all over now. My research is done with. I'm finished. All my research till now suggests that the Jotun should reside somewhere in this land. But I cannot find the proof! 
If there was only some proof that my years of research weren't for naught! Slumbering Giant. I shall scrutinize you, sir. Passionate scholar who loves researching. Unfortunately, the headmaster has yet to acknowledge his work, leaving him vexed. Okay, so he's looking for something called the Jotun. Is that a monster or a thing? Uh, Frostland. The legendary Jotun. Um, other quests! What about you, boy? Hello. Miles. Oh, he's not a boy. Miles, how nice to meet with a new face. I'm Miles. I was recently done the great honor of being appointed to the Knights Ardant. In fact, my late father, rest him, was also a member of the Knights Ardant. Though he was stripped of his cloak for the crime of deserting in the midst of battle. Even now, after all these years, it is difficult to believe such slander to be true. My father would never have abandoned his fellow knights in battle. Sir Miles, his quest. Alright, scrutinize please. A young man recently appointed to the Knights are done. He's an extremely hard worker due to his strict upbringing. He asked his father on many occasions about his past, but he heard nothing until recently. Yes, intriguing, yes. Are there any quests up here toward the cathedral? Are there any in the cathedral? Ah, oh, there is something. In this house! Oh, it's... Um, okay. Accused man. Please listen. I swear that I'm innocent. I've not killed anyone. I've never done it. I just came across the body, that's all. There was a person there covered in blood. What would anyone do? Of course I bent down to see if they were alright. Well, I was trying to help. But the investigation of that man's death was no more than a pretense. That mockery of justice is why I'm now in a cell. Oh. Dude. This sounds like a job for Cyrus. Scrutinize. Prone to leaping before he looks, this hasty traveler often finds himself in a tight spot. Whenever he lands himself in the gowls, he escapes with the aid of others and continues on. Uh... Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, okay, who's the Minister of Justice? Right. Nope, you're not it. What about you? Let's do. Where is the Minister of Justice? I must speak to him on this matter. Hello. Your cleric. Lovely. N no. Mother. No. up here. Who are you? Why can't I talk to you? Oh. Former knight. I was once a member of the Knights Ardant, though my days of waving about a sword are long since over. Besides, they just don't make knights like they used to. I had a brother in arms who was the so soul of honor. First finest knight I ever knew. Are you the father of that guy? Rumors of a Knight Ardant. In his youth, he was reckless and immature and would often act without thinking of those around him. Though he was left the he's left the knights behind, he fondly remembers the one who took him under his wing. Oh, a rumor! Good day. There are rumors of heretics who worship a black flame of evil. I said something about a cult, didn't I? Scrutinize this cleric. Cleric who raised his children now in the nights are done on the teachings of the sacred flame. From it, his eldest daughter learned its intensity, his younger son its kindness, and his eldest son its dangers. New weapons for sale at the shop. Yay! I have new wares! Uh, how about you, Mr. Cleric? Whoa! Uh, no. I ain't taking that chance. Scrutinize this woman. A mother of one who ran away from home to get married, but returned after her divorce. At first she had reservations about seeing her father again, but now she worries most about whether or not her, not her savings are still intact. A hidden item. A new treasure is available. You, boy! 
Ignitum, young boy born in the coastal town of Goldshore. He came to Flames Grace with his mother, where she, he saw snow for the first time. In his excitement, he, got, he gets lost. And now, a treasure is now available. Eh! Glowy thing! A fortifying nut. I think that making permanently increases your defense. Well, we in the Church of the Sacred Flame worship the god Aelfric. We also revere the Sacred Flame, the enduring symbol of his holiness. Scrutinize! Seventy-two percent. Eh? After ha I got it. After ha having faithfully served the church for most of his life, he planned on leaving his post in old age, but ultimately decided to stay and see the kid link through. Just like his friend Joseph. Another hidden item has been revealed. Okay. Item! Copper filled pouch. What is that? I'm sorry, I'm just scrutinizing everybody for their crap. I should have did this back in Atlas Dan, but I didn't. Uh, uh did I pass it? There it is, copper filled pouch. Fetches a fair price if sold to a merchant. Fortifying nut. Increases physical attack. Okay, we don't want to use that on mages. That's not what you want to do. Oh, don't scrutinize me. I'm too sick. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought I saw a sparkly thingy. Oh, here we are. The Olive of Life. <laughs> That's okay. I'm making a big circle anyway, so I'll scrutinize at the people in Atlas Den when I get back there. Plus, there, there's a quest there. 60%. Do you wish to scrutinize? Nope. Too low. I have terrible luck, so I, I'm not chancing. 96. Yes. Discount at the end. Once a dancer in the town of Sunshade, she ran away from her cruel master, Helganish, and now lives a new life under a different name. She often has nightmares about her dreadful past, but accepts them as a punishment for leaving her friends behind. Lodging is now cheaper. Congratulations! Uh, what do you have to say? Uh, no. Next! Nope! Next! <laughs> you want to know why I'm hiding here? That's a secret. Oh, really? I'll scrutinize you! A former mercenary who enjoys telling tales of his heroism on the battlefield. Those around him eagerly listen to his passionately recounted stories despite knowing that most are untrue. There is a hidden item now in the area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You! Greetings. Miss Night Lady. Uh, I'm not taking that chance. It's only a matter of time until I fail. Oh, born and raised in flames here, this pious woman prays to the sacred flame every day, but with monsters and dangerous incidents on the rise, she has started to consider leaving the home she loves for a more peaceful location. Uh... Tavern lady can't talk to her. Uh, what are you? Drunk soldier. Yeah, I'm drinking. What of it? I've got every right to drink as much as I like. Nothing else is going to take away the misery of my job. But drink, but drink takes money, and money means more work. It just never ends. Proud soldier and keeper of the peace. Unfortunately, his job often makes him the target of resentment, so he drowns his sorrows in liquor under the guise of keeping warm. Hell. Tavern patron. Uh, one of the soldiers who brought down a frost wolf, a beast which once terrorized the frostlands. The battle was won with the help of a hunter and his dire wolf. That's Zanta, I think, that they're talking about. The duo were still lauded for their aid. I think that was talking about Zanta, actually. Oh, item! Shadow Soulstone. What about you, sir? Codger. 
Where does time go? I set out to find the truth of the ice giants known as the, the Jotun. And before I knew what happened, my whole life passed me by. But it's a most fascinating tale once you begin delving into the detail. The nomenclature, for example. You see, the reason that the Jotun are commonly known as the ice giants is in part because... Oh dear me, there I go again with my rambling. I apologize. Please pay this old man no heed. Oh no, on the contrary, please do. Once a scholar who traveled the continent researching monsters, the anecdotes of his astonishing encounters, though true, sound like fairy tales, so there are few who believe him. Where the ice giant sleeps? I promise I'll stop once I've scrutinized everybody. An eyewitness account. I don't regret running away yesterday. I'm sure anyone would have done the same after seeing someone collapse in the street covered in blood, but it's okay because someone else must have called the guards. That poor person has probably been rescued, right? Eyewitness account. Oh, so the guy's been wrongfully imprisoned! Armorer, sir! A merchant who journeyed from the south to get his hands on the Frostland's pristine snow water, rumored to grant the drinker eternal youth. The water demands a high price among the aristocracy. The source of the rumor, however, is none other than this clever merchant himself. You dog, you! <laughs> so you can raise your prices, you scoundrel! Hidden item. Years ago, he and his daughter had a fight after which she eloped with her husband-to-be. Now that she's returned, he's unsure how to face her. Nevertheless, he's happy to see his grandson's face. Hidden item revealed. No, not the provisioner. I'm almost done. I just gotta find this hidden item that's up here. Whoa! Was that it right there? Spiriting plum. Okay. Yeah. Back around. Alright. I'll resolve some of these side stories. This is carrying on a little long. Okay, so I have some leads on these side stories. So, I'll wrap those up the next time. I'll get back around to Atlas Dam and do my stuff there, because I think I need Ulbrick for one of them. But, with that, I'll leave things here. And I'll try to head to Swarky to get Haunted next time as well, so I'll try to make it speedy. So with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.